Cristiano Ronaldo, Hakim Ziyech and Jager Jota, but who else will get that spot and team after week 6 for FIFA 21's Ultimate Team? I'm your boy Viva FIFA and a very, very big welcome. Are you looking for the best, cheapest and most reliable place to get your FUT 21 coins? Go to away.com and use the code Viva for an extra 5% off your order and start building your own dream team. In this video, I've listed up 30 big candidates. Why 30? Because Viva there is only room for 23 well boys and girls it is because you never know what EA will decide so I pick my favorite players and I will tell you what they did and which chance I give them to get that final spot so if you love the video smash a thumbs up to get one of these amazing info cards popping out of your pack subscribe to the channel for more and put on the notification bell starting off with the goalkeepers and luckily this time we have a quality goalkeeper in the packs for team after week 6, Kaylor Navas in a 3-0 victory for Paris Saint-Germain. Luckily for us, he stopped a penalty and keeping a clean sheet plus stopping a penalty normally for EA that is enough for a guaranteed team after week card. An inform card for the Paris Saint-Germain fan. Alaves picked up a 1-1 draw against Barcelona and if you saw the game, NATO won't get an inform card and if you don't know what I'm talking about, look up the highlights between Alaves and Barcelona after this video. Video, but Pacheco, although he conceded one goal, he made 10 saves in a 1-1 draw against Barcelona. Well, for me, that is more than enough. Staderen picked up a 3-0 victory in the Ligue 1 and two of the centre-backs got one goal. One man from Algeria, but he's only a silver card. I think they will go for Da Silva, the centre-back who picked up one goal with a clean sheet. What a week it was for Mats Hummels, scoring two goals, being mentioned as the man of the match, but also losing his game with an injury. And that means, yes, he was the man match winner but he won't be available in the forthcoming week and that will be very important they will play against Bayern Munich but they have to do that without Mats Hummels but this weekend with two goals Mats is a guaranteed team of the week six player Dante already had an amazing career when he went to OGC Nice well to end his career on the European pitches everybody thought will he be very successful but the answer is yes Dante got one assist capped the clean sheet and was voted the best player on the pitch Paderborn is is playing in the second Bundesliga or even lower and we have Hudenmeyer, the central back. Nobody wants to get in their pack opening but he is there and he deserves to be there because just like Mats Hummels, he picked up two goals. YEA, James Tavernier never gets an inform card and the right back of the Rangers is doing anything within his power. For example, last year he got two goals, no inform card. One week later, one goal, two assists, no inform card. So maybe the Rangers can't get in forms. I don't know, but the center back got it already this year. So why not add James Tavernier? He got one goal in a 1-0 victory. And what an amazing card it is. It seems like the cheap Kyle Walker. Talk about the devil and he will appear. Kyle Walker himself already got an in form center back card for scoring one goal and doing great in that game. But now he picked up one goal in a 1-0 victory, a long shot distance goal. It was a beauty of a goal. He wasn't only the match winner, but also man of the match. A second inform card, is it good enough for him? I'm crossing my fingers because I'm looking for a right back walker to join my team. After a pretty rough start, Brentford is doing better and better lately and their left back Henry, he was super important with one goal in their victory. Henry is already a sweaty left back with amazing speed, 90 speed on his normal card, but with a massive upgrade, he becomes one of the most interesting players. The left back aren't the best in the Premier League, so if you're building yourself a team with, for example, Tomori and Jordan Henderson, you can easily use an English player to fill in that left back position, and Henry can be a cheap solution. Wolverhampton Wanderers picked up a nice victory on Friday night. It was a 2 0 win, and we have two candidates. The first one, and my favorite, is Ainuri, the new signing, former player of Angier, got one goal in that win. He played as a left back slash left wing back, but also Nelson. Tomato played a rock off again. He was incredible in that 
match. He has a one to watch card and that could be the edge over Ainuri. EA surprised us many times before, why not again? Zlatan Ibrahimovic can't stop scoring goals. One goal and one assist for Zlatan this weekend in a 2-1 victory, but I don't think that is good enough for an informed second card for Zlatan. Frank Cassie got one goal from the midfield. If they're going to pick a Milan player, I have my doubts about it. It should be Kasse. What a beautiful game it was between Villa and Southampton. Four shots on target by Southampton and they won away from home. 4-3. After 50 minutes, a 4-0 lead. It was Villa, Liverpool, but then the other way around. Villa, they came back strong, but in the end, they missed out one goal to pick up a legendary 4-4 draw. James ward Pross was the big man with two goals and one assist from the center midfield position. But boy, I enjoyed that game. Davy Klaassen and Envia, two players on the same spot. You might remember Davy Klaassen from Werder Bremen and Envia, he played for Stokes City in the Premier League and take a look at his stats. 90 speed. Imagine Andia still playing in the Premier League with a call like that. He would have been easily 50 to 100k. Davy Klaassen made the move to Ajax Amsterdam at the end of the transfer window and both players were great with two goals. Give a thumbs up if you want to get Hakim Ziyech in your pack or you invested in his one to watch card. He got one goal and one assist. Ziyech in that game played right forward. So he will get a right forward inform card, but nobody wants that. His one to watch will stay a cam card. So that means Hakim Ziyech with a plus one from 85 to 86, because that is how the algorithm works with the upgrades, is an astonishing card that is getting better every single time. We have a lot of players with a history are playing in the Dutch Eredivisie on this page. Rijvloed is the only midfielder with a hat trick this week. None of the goals were beautiful because it was all a little bit lucky but he got a hat-trick plus one assist in a 4-1 victory. Nobody can deny him. AS Monaco got a 4-0 victory and Kevin Volant was the big man with two goals. Wissam Ben Yedder deserves a shout out with one goal, one assist, but he scored from the penalty spot and already got an inform card earlier on, so he won't be rewarded with a second inform. I can't believe that that will happen. And Kevin Volant on that camp position, he looks kinda good to use. Two goals for the former man of Bayer Leverkusen. We go to SV Darmstadt and there we find Kempe, the Cam, the centre midfielder who got two goals and two assists. So although he isn't bad for a second division card, he looks pretty complete. Nobody is really hoping to pack him in their weekend league rewards, but the man deserves the shout out. Once again, two players from the Paris Saint-Germain game. I think they will give it to Kayla Navas, but if Kayla Navas won't get it, also a shout out goes to Kylian Mbappé and Under Herrera. The former Man United player got one goal from the center midfield spot and Mbappé got one goal and one assist from the left wing spot. Normally, that might not be good enough, but with EA nowadays, you don't know what they want to do to sell packs. Bologna left winger Barrow did a great job. The man is super quick. He picked up two goals from the left mid position. Soriano got one goal, one assist from the camp position, so he also deserves a shout out. But if it goes to the wing, it goes to Barrow. It's three times enough to get his upgraded team off the week card and a one to watch upgrade as well. Joga Jata once again saved Liverpool coming from the bench. I know one goal is always a gamble because Jota did it two times before and EA denied him. This time he got one goal, was ruled out because Mane made, well, a foul over the goalkeeper Fabianski, but after that he picked up a goal and that stand that got the victory to Liverpool. Once again, Jota Jota saved the day, so football fans give a thumbs up for this amazing super substitution and to get his one to watch card upgraded. Shakhtar Dundex always does it with the Brazilian skillers and Tyson is a player that is playing with Shakhtar for almost 10 years. He is very good. In the league after Ukraine, he picked up two goals and one assist. In the Champions League, they got four points out of the first two games, so the season is looking good. Christian Teo, the former left winger, right winger of Barcelona, stole the show of his team Real Betis. In the game where Nabil Fakir even missed a penalty, Teo was unstoppable with his two goals and one assist. The man deserves a big upgrade and I must say, with his speed, dribbling and shooting, he looks like a card I would love to get in a cheap La Liga squad. Two players of Real Madrid could be rewarded. The first one is Karim Benzema. 
Two goals and one assist, I believe. He is my number one favorite. Karim B, he was looking for a goal a very long time, but now he got a very good game. Ibn Nazar got one goal, but that was a beautiful goal, so he also deserves a shout out. And for the people that say, hey, Viva, where is Fede Valverde? He got one goal and one assist. I say, agree, guys, I agree. But last week in Team of the Week 5, Al Valverde was already there, and it can't happen. Nothing can happen. Second in form card in a row. It will never happen. The last time it happened in FIFA 14 when a player got four goals and five goals. Well, you can't deny a player like that. It was Antonio Di Natale. The game between Manchester United and Arsenal was a big match, but it was only a big match on paper. In real life, it was quite disappointing and very boring, but there was a victory for the very first time in 15 years for the Gunners at Old Trafford. And that means maybe one of the players will be rewarded. Is it Hector Bellerin for getting that penalty kick? Paul Pogba, what a horrible foul. That was so stupid. Or is it pierre Ibrick Aubameyang, the captain, who picked up the goal from the penalty spot? Arsenal fans, football fans, does a player of Arsenal deserve it? Drop it in the comments. Atletico Madrid striker Jao Felix missed a penalty, but in the end, he got two goals man of the match and he saved the day for Atletico. Atletico is struggling a little bit but in the end they're always super fit so at the end of the game they can overtake the opponent. I'm happy Jao Felix is finally showing why they paid over 120 million pounds. Another striker who picked up two goals is Callum Wilson and I let out a lot of strikers with two goals. For example, Alario of Bayer Leverkusen, Timo Puki of Norwich City because I can't put them all in. Callum Wilson got two goals in a very nice win for his new team, Newcastle United. Going to Atalanta Bergamo in a 2-2 draw midweek in the Champions League, Duvan Zapata got two goals. But people that know Team of the Week, it is only about the league games, nothing to do with European football. So sometimes kids ask me in the comment section and I just tell them, learn what Team of the Week is before watching videos about it. And that means Muriel this weekend did the same thing like Zapata Two goals, so a show out to him. Big man Gervinho got two goals against Inter Milan, the team that wants to get him in the winter. In a 2-2 draw in the end, Palma was just not good enough to pick up the win. But Gervinho moving from the wing to the striker is something we love to see. Because this car reminds me a little bit of Gervinho in FIFA 12. 13, 14, and 15, so overpowered alongside Ibarbo, they were unstoppable. Itube as well, that was a dream team lineup. We go to Peterborough, if there is any Peterborough fan watching this, give a thumbs up and let me know it in the comment section down below because we have your striker, Dembele. We have so many Dembele's that are professional football players, but this man for the moment is quite unknown. He is from Scotland and he picked up, you can guess it, a player from the lower leagues, a hat trick. Ronaldo fans, smash a thumbs up for your favorite player. Ronaldo got two goals coming from the bench in only 35 minutes time he replaced Paulo Dybala after 60 minutes and he picked up two goals. A wonderful performance by Ronaldo as some criticized people call him but there was no penalty involved. Ronaldo picked up both goals nights from open play. Ronaldo is 35 but he still has the body of a young 25 year old god. We can call him Hercules whatever you desire. So Ronaldo Ronaldo is still a living legend, he deserves a thumbs up, he deserves a team after week spot, so come on EA, honor your legends, give Ronaldo the info card and give a thumbs up if you agree with my opinion, subscribe to the channel for more and put on the notification bell. I thank you all for watching, wish you all an incredible day and as you know for me, keep it cool, keep it real and ciao for now. Baby, we'll fall.